Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy. Today's video is going to be a ranking all the anime husbandos video. If you guys did not know, I am a little bit of a massive weeb. I have watched 50 or 60 anime at this point. It's a little bit concerning. I was just joking around with some of my friends about making this video. Wasn't actually going to do it, but lo and behold, here we are now. I went on to Ranker and the internet and compiled a list of anime husbandos and created this little masterpiece we got going on here. First, let's go over the category names and the category placements. At the top, we have Simp Level Over 9000, Ultimate Husbando, a little bit self-explanatory. These are my personal absolute favorite 2D male characters. I love them more than I love most real men. Next, we have Has a Special Place in My Heart. These are for characters that I absolutely adore. The Simp Level may not be over 9000, um, but it's at a pretty close 8,999. Under that we have Has Much Drip. These are characters that are objectively incredibly attractive, but maybe I just don't have that kind of warm fuzzy feeling towards. Then we have Seems Okay. These are people who I don't really have any feeling towards. And then at the bottom we have uh, These are characters that I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. I have a disclaimer just to keep in mind these are my personal beliefs. If I rank a character that you like a lot, very low, please keep on loving that character. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start off with a big one. Gojo Satoru from Jujutsu Kaisen, which... I love Gojo. Honestly, if I met him in real life, I would probably hate him, but he's in my top three favorite characters from Jujutsu Kaisen. Look at his silvery purple hair and his wonderful, magnificent, super overpowered, amazing eyeballs and tell me that you feel nothing. Exactly, you can't. Oh. Moving on, we have a list of four men from Attack on Titan. Armin Artlet. Oh my god. He is so wholesome, intelligent, kind. In the first three seasons, I really liked him, but in the fourth season, when he appeared, I almost fell out of my chair. Mans had a glow up, a colossal titan for a colossal man. Aaron Yeager. I know a lot of people were simping super hard over Aaron, and I was not one of them. <laughs> Definitely a pretty solid main character. I just raged so many times at him, but I do have to admit, Mans has much drip, so we're just gonna put him there. I mean, look at his drip. Moving on, we now have Erwin from Attack on Titan. We're not gonna talk about it. I love Erwin. Look at this man's eyebrows and tell me that they do not inspire you to throw away your entire life fighting titans. His intelligence and just his overall like very calm, very put together demeanor combined with his drive and his passion, very cool. I just wanted him to be happy. Next up. Is anyone surprised? The simp level is not over 9,000. The simp level is literally broken. Levi is my favorite character in all of anime history. I just love every single aspect of his character. So incredibly competent and cool and good at what he does. Just watch him turn a titan into sashimi and tell me that it does not do something to you. He has lost so much. He still manages to be such a cool character in person and it's really clear that he cares so much about the people that he cares about. I just want him to be happy. I have not read the manga so I don't know how Attack on Titan finishes and if Attack on Titan doesn't end with Levi happy, I am suing. We are going to Giyu from Demon Slayer. Man's had probably two minutes of screen time in the entire season and he's my favorite character. Do I have problems? Yes, I probably do. But if you have seen episode 19, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I also love all the times that he's interacted with Shinobu. Gives me life. I'm going to put him in some level over 9,000. Uh-oh, there's too many in there. I saw a lot of people say that Hisoka was on their ultimate husbandos list and uh... Oh. 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 I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. Going to a gray full buster from Fairy Tail. He is probably my top two favorite characters from Fairy Tail. Him and Urza, chef's kiss. 
They definitely saved the show for me. It's been a little while since I've seen Fairy Tail, and I don't have that warm, fuzzy feeling. So I think I'm going to have to put him in Has Much Drip. It's kind of the same case for Rin from Blue Exorcist. I think when I watched it, I liked his brother more. Moving on, we have a handful of characters from Naruto. If you guys didn't know, it was my gateway anime, my first anime ever. The first one is Sasuke. And I know a lot of people simp very hard for him, but I just can't get behind it. I just saw the pain that everyone was going through to get him back, and I was like... Stop it. And I also just don't think I could handle a relationship that he has with Sakura, being at home with a kid while he's off trapezing the world for god knows how long. <sighs> I'm not really into it. He does have some drip. Mm. No, I'm gonna... Put him in seems okay. His brother, on the other hand, Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> I did not like him at all in Naruto. But then in Naruto Shippuden, when we got to see his backstory, just like the way that he went through everything that life threw at him, I just love him. Anyways, moving on, we have another simp level over 9,000. Ah! Kakashi Hatake is my second favorite animated character of all time. Such a cool, calm, collected, amazing, badass. His outfits, his hair, his shutting gun. I love him so much. His backstory is also heartbreaking and I have so much admiration for how he dealt with the stuff he's had to go through. And it's so clear that he cares so much for everyone. Next up, we have Nezi Huga. When I was in middle school, he was my ultimate. I liked him even more than I liked Kakashi, which is crazy. When I found out that he died, I literally cried. Just for that nostalgia factor, I have to put him in simp level over 9,000. Kaneki Ken, such a badass. I watched the first season of Tokyo Ghoul and then read the manga for the rest of it. The scene at the end of season one where he ends up beating up his captor. Literally, I started cracking my knuckles like this because of him. I don't know if he's a simp level over 9,000 because I ship him with Toka so much. I have to say that he has a very special place in my heart. We have Ko Tanaka or Ko Mabuchi from Oharu Ride. Oharu Ride is my comfort anime. It is one of my favorite shoujo animes. I simped so hard for him when I was younger. He seemed also like very realistic to me at the time, just in terms of his struggle goals and the way he dealt with them. I have to put him in has a special place in my heart. L from Death Note. Oh my gosh, I love his character. I literally sit the way that he sits 70% of the time. When I'm doing homework, I do the whole feet on the chair. Such a big brain, a little bit quirky and out there but I think he's such a cool character. I really vibe with the whole emo boy haircut and like the dark bag under eye circles. The simp level isn't over 9,000 because I don't simp for him. I just would love to be his friend. Moving on, we have Haruka Nanase from Free Iwatobi Swim Club. I loved Free Iwatobi Swim Club when I was younger. And I related so much to his life indecision, not really knowing what he was doing. I do have to say he has much drip quite literally dripping with water all the time. Makoto Tachibana from Free Iwatobi Swim Club. Amazing character, oh my gosh. Very, very good character design. Has that dad vibe that I kind of get from Erwin, except for he's a more approachable version. And I loved the dynamic that he had with all of the characters. He kind of felt like glue. I loved his personality so much. He felt like a little cuddly teddy bear, except for not really cuddly at all because holy crap, man's was jacked. I think I'm also going to have to put him in has much drip. Next up, we have Takumi Usui from Maid Sama. And I know so many people go absolutely freaking bonkers for this guy. I'm not one of them. I thought he was kind of creepy. For those of you guys who haven't watched Maid Sama, it follows this girl named Misaki who ends up working at a maid cafe. And then this guy, Takumi Usui, finds out and kind of holds it over her head, visits her all the time, kind of harasses her at her workplace. And it's painted as this very hot, amazing man being hot and amazing. It just rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, dude, can you please just let Misaki go about her life? There's like this one scene where Misaki is working at a maid cafe at the beach and she has to wear an apron with her swimsuit. And Mans literally gives her a hickey without her permission and it ruins her entire night. And just watching that scene made my blood boil. I was like, who the heck do you think you are? 
this is harassment and it is being painted with glitter and rainbows. I did not like him. He, uh, I'm going to put him in uh. Moving on, we have Sebastian Mikolas from Black Butler. He's a very cool character, but for some reason, just something about him gives me an ick. I'm going to have to put him in uh. Next up, we have Seshomoru from Inuyasha. I literally only finished Inuyasha because of Seshomaru. I loved the fact that he had a healing sword. He was like one of those stoic, chill, bad boys who was stoic and chill and has no feelings except for it kind of does behind this little mask. His drip, amazing. I personally liked him a lot. I'm going to have to put him in. Has a special place in my heart just for the childhood nostalgia. Inuyasha was one of also the first anime that I've ever watched. Next up, we have a couple characters from Haikyuu. I love Haikyuu. Definitely recommend it follows some boys playing high school volleyball. First, we have Tobio. I love the dynamic that he has with Hinata. I love seeing them play off of each other. He was actually not my favorite character when I watched Haikyuu, but I thought he was really cool nonetheless. He seems like a pretty realistic character as well to me. I'm going to have to put him in as much drip. Now we have Kudo. Holy guacamole. He has it all. He has the volleyball ability. He has the big brain ability. He has the cool epic hairdo. Super tall. Very amazing. Funny. Cool guy. He seems like someone I can just hang out with and have a good time. I feel like it's sacrilegious if I don't put him high enough. I think I'll put him in has a special place in my heart. Oikawa! Ah! He is one of my favorite anime male characters. Probably like top 10. I have a lot of respect for his grind. I just love how passionate and driven he is for the things that he likes. His insecurities made him feel like such a real character to me. I love how playful and boisterous he can be, but also like really serious. He is my favorite character from Haikyuu and I have to put him in simp level over 9000 slash ultimate husbando. Would I want to marry him? Probably not. Is my simp level over 9000? Yes. Moving on, we have Yato from Norigami. I love Yato. I don't know how much I love Yato though. Really fun and young at heart. I have to say, Mance has a lot of drip. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of shuffling later, but I'm just gonna put him there for now. Next, we have Zero from Vampire Diaries. Vampire Night? Vampire something? I hated Vampire Night, actually. Did not like the main character girl. Did not like the lead role guy which is probably the reason why I ended up liking Zero because he was less completely stupid. At the time, he was definitely my favorite character. He has a lot of drip, but he also seems okay. Seems okay, a little bit of drip. Seems okay, a little bit of drip. I don't know, I think just because I didn't really like Vampire Knight, I'm going to have to put him in seems okay. He seems a little bit more okay than Sasuke. <laughs> Sorry, Sasuke. <laughs> Next up, we have Roy Mustang. Woo! I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I did not see the original Full Metal Alchemist, but I love, 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 love Roy Mustang. I love the way that his character plays off of Riza, and I just love his personality. I love how he has the ability to go from being super lighthearted to being really, really serious. And I also think he's gone through a lot. To be honest, didn't really see him as husbando material because I shipped him so incredibly hard with Riza. But Maz is dripping. His uniform, mwah. his hair, mwah. the snappy gloves he's got, I'm gonna have to put him here. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to do a little bit of shuffling. All right, so I did a little bit of shuffling. This is so difficult because I'm looking at this and I want to rank some people higher but then I also can't. The rankings in between the categories could probably flip flop around based on the given day. I bumped up Makuto because I thought about it a little bit more and he is like genuine husbando material. I bumped Armin up to a simp level over 9,000 slash ultimate husbando because I do think that he is ultimate husbando material. But I bumped a couple people down like Gojo. I bumped him down a little bit because would he really be a good person to be in a relationship with. The same goes for Oikawa, but I just love them as characters so much. Anyways, I think this is going to be it for my ranking the internet's ultimate husbandos video. How would you guys have ranked these? Do you agree with some of these rankings? Do you not agree with some of these rankings? Tell me where you guys want to put some of these people. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.